All right, cool. Just a quick update. Uh, Scott reached out. He lives right down the road from me. Uh, he's like, hey, man, I saw your issue. Uh, go ahead and he pulled the screw out of one of his setups that he's not currently using. So he's like, so I hopped in the truck, grabbed the radian. We threw this bad boy on there. We're still off, right? Low vis. We got our laser working. Uh, high vis. <laughs> Please give ODG. Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> I'm a nut. All right, so that's working. Um, and then after we got that testing, at first we, we were getting some intermittent issues where it wouldn't, and I realized this has to be snapped all the way in. It wasn't all the way in at first. So uh, I was like, oh, okay. I will say that this, I wish this was a bit chunkier. You see, uh, trying to actuate these switches. Not the most, I mean, I do have this button a bit too far forward, to be honest. Or is that off? Yeah. Test it. Yeah, good. Go ahead and close. Now what happens if we fire with that on? Let's go ahead and drop it down again. Nothing. So that blocks it completely. See how it's loose. Yeah, so that'll block it completely. Move to the side. Please give ODG gets his gets his green again. Cool. All right. So yeah, and I did reach out to uh, Unity. I already heard back, and they said send us a picture. I did. At first, I was like, "Why do they need a picture for a screw?" But I realized he got back. He goes, "Yeah, we needed the picture because we have mod buttons and mod button lights, and I don't want to send you the wrong hardware." It turns out he was right. He goes, "Oh, okay. So you have the light." I guess I didn't phrase it right. So that's on the way. So once those arrive, I'll give Scott the one he gave me. He pulled out of one of his setups. Uh, while we were there, he went and grabbed some small zip ties. We ran all these cables. And we got it uh, pretty much fastened down so we have less of a snag hazard. Everything's on there pretty good. Make sure he's off. because He also gave me a battery because I left it here. I didn't bring the battery to test it. Uh, so we're good there. The only thing I'm curious about, I, I don't think I have enough room to make these flush because that Unity one has a shelf. And when I tried it, it didn't quite seem to have enough room to clear that pick rail. So I, I wanted them right in front of each other, basically. And I don't think that's possible. I can give it one more try. But I'm just looking at the... Uh, Looking at the overall... I lent Scott my tripod. That's why I'm doing it by hand. He's going to make a video on some stuff. He just got his new Otal C. Going to set up his Kiji on his second rig. That's cool. I think I might order another tripod too. One of those uh, better quality ones. This one's been pretty good. I'm taking it to the range. I mean, I'm gentle with it because it's still plastic and Chinese pot metal. But I don't think I have enough room to clear that. Because of that ledge that's on there. Uh, it might have to stay like that. I might give it a try. Right now it's on there. It's solid. It's not going anywhere. So we have our primary. And this this is getting in the way too. I guess I can loosen that screw and reorient that. You don't want to get rid of it because if you have to remove that plug, you want something protecting it from any moisture or whatever. So we'll pop our cap. So we have our OKW. And then go to high vis. We can double tap and always on it. Let's see how washed out it gets by the OKW. Pretty much kills it, right? But it'll serve its purpose for zeroing. <laughs> There's a screenshot. <laughs> Let's take a picture of that one. 
All right, so we're back up and running. We're, I think we're in a good place, man. I say we. I'm in a good place. High vis, low vis. Again, I wish this button was a little chunkier. Not as ergonomic as I wish. And this thing is holding it up. I don't even know what size screw that uses. Can I pull this around? No. Well, that's better. Then you got this floppy thing standing up. Um, off. Off? Off. All right. Okay, so uh, this is pretty much locked down now. Um, all that's really left. This seems a bit loose. I know they sell diffusers I can replace this cap with, which I'm probably going to end up picking up. Oh, I should have done that on TMVC. I bet you they sell them too. Shit. Oh. Uh, night vision settings <coughs> on a 512. Let's make sure that's all the way down. Turn off the flash. Won't be able to see it. Oh, wait. Just want to see. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five is Viz. Four is it's very faint. One, two, three, four. So one and two might be night vision. <coughs> Won't be able to see it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Until I set up the PVS. I'll probably do that for um, probably later tonight. Yeah, do that tonight. I'm probably going right now. Okay. Alright, well, we'll have to do for now. So we got our laser, we got our main light control. <coughs> Strap on the PBS. Throw on the helmet. Activate and go. We're pretty much there, man. Cool. All right, short and sweet. Thank you to Scott. Did a great job on these uh, on the wire. I mean, I I don't see any other viable option for this type of scenario. No aftermarket. Maybe there is one. I'm not aware of it, but this will work. I don't know if these <coughs> zip ties are going to be uh, heat resistant enough. I guess we'll find out. Scott says they are, so I'll I'll, I'll take his word. We have this oriented here. Scott moved it around for me. I mean, I you're not really going to have to actuate a manual override on the DS00. But if you ever have to, you want it to be somewhat ergonomic. You're shooting. Transition down to thumb. All right, that's cool. You're off. Good. That's it, man. Cool. So all we got to do is get the rest of the parts, get the helmet finished up. Oh, come to daddy. Get the helmet finished up. And, uh, we'll get that nerd on there. Retain that PVS. We've got the IR flasher thingy. Put it on the back, probably right here. We've got the, uh, counterweight coming. And then once we get that uh, J-arm tweaked a bit... We should be in a good place. The only thing I really haven't addressed yet is are the ears. I don't know if I should spend the... Because they're not cheap. You can buy the Peltor uh, pieces where you can basically take this walker apart and convert it over to, to work with these guys. I mean, a good set of Peltors are eight, 900 bucks. It's just... You know, it's time to stop. <laughs> right now, I can't do it. So, I don't know if I should just do that. I think I'm going to leave those walkers alone. If anything, I'll order another set of walkers and, and I'll cannibalize those. In the meantime, I'm just going to have to run the old school ghetto plugs. Won't be able to hear very well, but fuck it. Uh, and then see what we can make happen, Captain. All right. Have a good one. Thanks, Scott. Peace out. Your boy, Jake Merka. <laughs>